Hello, my name is Sarah Hale and together with my colleague Hans-Peter Arp, who works with me at the Norwegian Geotechnical Institute, we're going to be leading a new research project called Zero PM, which runs for the next five years. Zero PM is funded by the European Union and it's going to look at a new type of chemical pollution that's occurring more and more and more in our drinking water. This pollution is called persistent and mobile substances, or PM substances for short. One example of persistent and mobile substances is the PFAS group, the per and polyfluoroalkyl substances. Now these substances are quite special because they make things water resistant and also non-stick. But the problem is, is that they contaminate our water resources. But the question is, how does this actually happen? Well, we produce these substances and we use them a lot. But then how do they get from the cities and the factories into our drinking water? Well, that's because they're persistent, which means that they don't biodegrade in the environment, even over really long periods of time. And also they're mobile. So once they're in the water environment, they can travel very, very far. And the combination of these two properties means that they don't break down or they're not removed at the wastewater treatment plants. So then they end up in our drinking water. But it's not just PFAS that we're talking about. There's lots of different persistent and mobile substances. And in Zero PM, what we're going to do is we'll eliminate these from water resources. If you'd like to find out more about the project, then you can visit our website at zeropm.eu. Zero PM, zero pollution of persistent and mobile substances. This project has received funding from the European Union's Horizon 2020 Research and Innovation Programme under grant agreement number 101036756.